In this video, I'm going to share with you three mistakes first-time home buyers make with their credit. My name is Dominique Brown, the owner of the YFS Academy and Your Finance is Simplified. I help people just like you win at finances so you can have time freedom, financial freedom, and the location freedom you deserve. And I do this by showing you how to improve your credit, save, budget, and invest. Now let's face it. How to build credit isn't a topic that's taught in schools and it's not often taught at home either. So when you start making your own money, paying your own bills and looking for your first house, you might realize that you've made a few credit mistakes while learning on the fly that makes it harder to buy. The good news is that once you are aware of these mistakes, they're fixable. The first mistake many first home home buyers make is waiting too long to build credit. Maybe you prefer to pay in cash or you're scared of opening up a credit card because you have a relative who wasn't responsible with their credit in the past. Now just remember this, not all debt or credit is bad if you use it carefully. Make purchases on cards and then pay them off on time each month. Set up automatic payments if you think you'll forget to pay. The sooner you start building credit, the sooner you can establish positive payments history so you can buy a home. The next mistake is not knowing the benefits of credit line increases. Now, don't get me wrong. You shouldn't be asking the credit card company to increase your limit so you can spend more money right before buying a house. But if you're planning to buy, say, a year or two from now, increasing your limits can be positive for your score over time. The reason is having high limits coupled with very low balances and on-time payments can show lenders that you are a responsible borrower. The last mistake is not regularly checking your credit. Information in your report is what goes into calculating your score. If you don't check your reports often, you can miss information that is incorrect. For example, a creditor could slip up and report an inaccurate record, right? If you have a common name, someone else's payments could show up on your report. You could even be a victim of fraud. Disputing with each credit bureau takes time. That's why reviewing reports and filing disputes is something you want to get on top of ASAP, even if you're still on the fence about buying. Now, if you don't have the time to file disputes, that's what we specialize in. We can also go through your credit reports to identify areas where you could repair your credit so you can get a better first mortgage. Talk to you soon. Oh, by the way, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to our channel and check out our description below this video. We have updated links to our best programs and offerings that can help you reach your goals faster. We look forward to helping you reach your goals and we can't wait to talk to you in the next video.